restoring and actualizing Biafra should be one of the core things that we are discussing, core discussion. I have learned that some of my viewers and some of my supporters have said we should stop talking about the Nigerian election. Yes, I have stopped talking about Nigerian election, but I will still talk about the young man who is coming from the southeast, Peter B. One thing in, in I will always say is that uh, I don't believe in one Nigeria, but I believe that a reasonable man can sort this equation in a proper way. I don't believe it's Peter B that is going to do it. But check and look at those who are coming out. Is it Atiku? Is it Tinubu? Who else? That's going to put the map in a world class. And that's the biggest case study. We must align with this prominent force that is coming in our way to make sure that Mazinam Dekano is freed and freed indeed. Umucheneke Dalon. Uh, we have continued with every force and every way of remembrance. There's a possible way that we are now moving to that phase that we prayed for. It's a new month, of course. I didn't wish you all happy new month. And our leader is now one year and uh, three months in prison. And some of us are still misbehaving. We must understand that what we put in line to actualize and restore Biafra is a big picture. It's bigger than what man must expect. Very big. That is why, coupled to the fact of what we do, of what we say, there's a big face, there's a big picture. in what we are saying. Do you understand the point? There's a big face and there's a big picture in what we are saying. Biafra has made a case of study where two or three people must understand the benefit of what we are pursuing. Not today, not tomorrow, not, not any day, but the benefit of what we are saying and benefit of what we are pushing is becoming a greater picture. We must know this. We will not allow ourselves to be used, pushed away, and tattered like a common pig. There is more reason why 